guys, let's now look at how to reference a textbook. Now in this video, I will be using an e-textbook, but of course the same principles apply to any book you could pick up in the library. So remember, every time you take some information from one of my slides, you've got to reference the textbook. All the best. Okay, so let's continue working on this document, and let's say that I've now added this statement, which is from the text. So of course I need to reference the textbook, which is available in BBLearn. So I've pulled up the textbook from BBLearn. So this is the text, and this is the title page, which has most of the information that I need. So let's go back and see how to reference this. So as always, I go to References, Insert Citation, Add New Source. Make sure that the type of source is book. The first piece of information that I need is the name of the author. So let's go back and look at the name of the author. These are my authors. Now always, always remember that we do not enter the name of the author here, but rather we click on this Edit tab and enter the names here. So let's look at the first author, that's R. Dan Reed. So I enter last name Reed, first R, middle Dan. I click on Add. And then the second author is Nada R. Sanders. So last name Sanders, first name Nada, middle R. Click on Add again and OK. So notice how Word has formatted the names of the authors as per APA standards. So remember to click Edit because it does this for us. Next is the title of the book. So the title is Operations Management and Integrated Approach. I type that. Management and Integrated Approach. The year. So I go back and I see that I can't find the year here. This information is on the copyright page. So go to the copyright. Now in a paperback book, this will be, or a hard copy book, this will be on a page, maybe the second, third or fourth page. It looks like this. So look for the copyright, that's 2016. So I enter 2016, city. Now if I scroll down, I look here where the address is and it says Hoboken, New Jersey. This is the information that I need. So I type exactly that. And lastly, the name of the publisher, which is Wiley, John Wiley and Sons. Awesome. Now, if you notice here, it says that this is the sixth edition of the book. This is a useful piece of information, so let's add it. So show all bibliography fields, and I scroll down, and under edition, I type sixth. Okay, and that's it. I put in the full stop. And I go to the next page, which has my reference list, if you remember from the previous tutorial. All I got to do is I click here, Update Citations, and it's automatically updated. Isn't that simple now? Go and try it out.